one of the key thrusts that we're focused on is how do we integrate energy into materials? You know, how do we take a material that's existent, you know, for example, you know, drywall, and how do we build energy into it? And so a test bed for us is silicon because it's, it's a basis of so much of the technology that we use in our current devices. And so if you can take the materials that are already there and build into them, use the real estate to build into it uh, energy storage architectures, now you can think about having energy storage, in increased energy storage capability without adding any real estate or any materials to your system. So it makes everything more efficient. And you know, even going into things like electric vehicles, where you know, right now everything is being stored external to the vehicle itself. You know, what if you could actually put energy storage into the casing of the car? You know, and same thing with an aerospace application. You know, what if you could put it into the, into the exterior of the aerospace system? And so these are, the, these are the questions that we're throwing around. And I think silicon is a great test bed for us because it's something that's, that's the, the center of a lot of technological innovation over the past 50 years. I see that the more that we integrate energy into existing materials and devices and infrastructure, the more compact and efficient they will become. In addition to that, I feel that the future of a sustainable system, or a sustainable energy system, you know, we're, we're talking about distributed energy in, in the future, et cetera. It involves being able to integrate energy storage into existing materials and infrastructure. And so being able to build energy into structures such as drywall or structural materials, that's an active area that we're pursuing. And this material system, this porous silicon material system, actually gives us a means to achieve that, which is exciting.